Saturday's guaranteed late pick four, a quarter of a million dollars, begins in race six of our nine race card. And the way I'm going to approach it is I'm going to go thin in the first leg, thin in the last leg, and try to get as many horses as I can on the tickets in the second and third legs as they're much tougher races. The sixth race, to me, out of the two, third frontier, coming off a big maiden win, a big step four for trainer Michelle Nevin, who has good numbers coming off wins and maiden wins, or the four over the speed limit, who was way over his head last time out. One of those two horses is going to be tough in the first leg. So I'd start out this pick four by using just the two of them, the two and the four. Now things get a lot more complicated on the turf in the seventh race. My top choice in here would be the seven Lady Bling returning for David Donk. She broke her maiden first time out, showing she can run well fresh at Saratoga in a maiden turf race. And then she ran against much tougher horses when well behind Lady Eli in a subsequent turf start. She's my top choice, but it's by a slim margin. There are a lot of horses that can win this race. Horses that have tried the turf that can win look like the odd-numbered horses, one, three, five, and seven. Horses that one's had a turf race, but essentially sort of newcomers the turf, the two, eight, nine, and 10, any of those horses could be used in the ticket. If I was using four here, I would use the five, seven, nine and ten in this race the nine detail one turf race but a better horse off his last start for chad brown or her start and the ten graham crackers rick violet not known for winning first time on the turf but does have the pedigree to handle it being a half to ampersand who was pretty good in the turf but a very wide open race in the second leg now the third leg I wouldn't say it's as wide open. The horse to beat in here is the six, Eric the Red. Eric the Red is running against the right company in here, and if he's able to run his best race, he'll be tough. He was compromised by a slow pace and a good horse that was able to control in front of him the last time he ran, but he's certainly by no means trustworthy. We haven't seen him now for over two months. I would lean towards horses that are posted towards the outside. The five old upstart who's turning back for Abby Adsit, the seven cost effective, also turning back for trainer Anthony Dutrow coming in from Oakland where he's on a wet track as well as a route last time. And the 1A deceived on the outside who's dropping down and also turning back. All of these horses are turned backs and I think they'll all benefit from it. So if I was using four in that third leg, it would be the 1A deceived, the five old upstart, the six Eric the Red, and the seven cost effective Eric the Red, once again, the horse to beat. Now the last leg on the turf, for me, it's fairly cut and dry. The 1A fundamental was bet strongly in his debut down at Gulfstream Park, had a lousy trip that day, and ran a winning race. He will be very tough to beat in this race on the grass. The 4 Andalusite is the only other horse I would use. I've got a bit of thing for this horse. He's had some trips in his races, and he ran well enough at 2 with routine improvement. Once again, Dave Donk. Coming off a layoff, he's done that well on the aqueduct turf before. I'm thinking Andalusite's a little bit interesting as the other horses. So the 1A and 4 would be my 2. If somehow this race has switched the dirt, the one plain 1 and the 9, the 2 you'll be using. But that does it for my ideas in the guaranteed Lake Pick 4 on Saturday. Best of luck.